Hey guys, welcome to my bonus live. Um, we are featuring the new cottage colors. So they actually went live at 11 o'clock, my time, nine o'clock Debbie's time. Uh, my video was released as well. A uh, lot's going on today. So seven o'clock this morning, my podcast uh, was dropped. And then at 11 o'clock, my video, which normally would have gone live yesterday, went live today, or it's it's um, uploaded, I should say, today. So it, you guys have been asking for a barn quilt like walkthrough or tutorial. And I walked you through the process and what I do um, the area where you actually draw it out um, can be the most difficult part. So I try to break it down the best I could um, without actually showing you firsthand, like being next to you. So um, you definitely need to know how to do a little math and read a ruler. I probably should have said that reading a ruler is key too. So if you haven't yet, um, head on over oh, after the live, head over to YouTube to watch my video. There is a playlist, you guys, with a bunch of amazing creators. And if you go in the description of my YouTube video, you'll find that playlist as well. Um, so definitely head over there and take a, a peek at that after my live. So let's dive in, you guys. Um, I saw, I actually, right before I jumped on, I'm like, oh my gosh, people are seeing the colors out there, which is awesome. So my video, you guys, was completely inspired by one of the paint colors. Uh, Jamie Ray Vintage curates all the colors with Debbie Beard. And the color that um, when I opened them up, I'm like, I had no idea what they were uh, because Debbie had reached out to me and asked me to collaborate. I'm like, absolutely. So she's like, I'll send you the color. So when the package came, and at first I looked at all the colors names because the names came on the top for me. And I was like, oh, barn quilt. There's one named barn quilt. Oh my gosh. That is what my video is going to be partially about. I was actually going to have a two part video. I wanted to do um, the buffet as well, but here in Wisconsin, it became extremely cold, snowed, rained. So that will be Monday's video. And I'm adding a few other little items in there, but barn quilt inspired that video. And if you guys, I mean, can you imagine, or can you guess what color barn quilt is? Um, let me hear. Oh, let me actually shake it up a bit. So it's on the top too, but so you guys can see it a bit. All right. Barn quilt. It is a beautiful red, you guys. I love it. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Um, so barn quilt inspired my whole YouTube video today. Let's see who's all joining. So got as you are jumping on, definitely um, put hashtag replay if you're watching it on the replay. Otherwise, in the um, comments, let me know where you're watching from. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Stephanie. Glad that you're joining. Oh, tell that nurse to leave you alone. Um, Gina's here. Looks like, oh, we have West Coast Contessa. Hello, hello. Um, oh, loved your podcast this morning. Thank you. All right. We have... Uh, Polari mom. I'm trying to, sometimes I don't know if I say things right. Oh, Emily's upcycled home. Hello. Hi, Sonnet. I just watched your video making the barn quilt. You make it look so easy. I have made, I can honestly say I probably have made thousands of barn quilts, you guys. <laughs> um, I can actually, all the patterns that I now draw, I can almost like draw it in my sleep. Um, because I've made so many prepping for shows in my booth. So thank you. Barbara says, love your podcast. I look forward to every Thursday. Not that I don't enjoy your regular lives and videos. These colors are such a great extension to the paint line. So excited. They are amazing. So what I did in my video is I actually pulled out four of the new, four out of the five new colors. And then I went back into what I called the OG or the original colors and I grabbed those. So when I paint a barn quilt, 
I really like to have color contrast. So I like a dark, rich color and then a lighter color in that spectrum. So it kind of, it pops. Um, the one thing I can say about this barn quilt and I, after I got it all painted, I wasn't thinking that the, I thought vintage pink, if I remembered in my mind, was more like pink. And I wish that I would have went with more of a white background. I just went into my, I paint, I actually cut a lot of boards, I paint a lot of boards, and I assemble a lot of um, quilts all at once. So I just went into my stash of like pre-built quilts and I grabbed one and I started drawing and painting. And I wish the background would have been more the white. I wish I would have actually stopped and thought about it a little bit more. I think the pink would have definitely popped off white a whole lot better. But I love it still. And every quilt that I paint is definitely very unique. So let's see here. Hello, Jennifer. Thank you for joining. Tanya. Hello, hello. Carol. Uh, Massachusetts. Woohoo. Pennsylvania. Wow. Vermont. You guys all over. Hi, Sana. Just jumped on head to watch Debbie's video first. Missed the barn quilt making. We'll watch it later. That's okay. All right. Hello, Amanda. Thank you. And my mom. Hey, mom. All right. So you guys saw barn quilt and that's what inspired the whole video. Um, and then we're going to just walk through one by one. So the next color is called plum pudding. And hopefully these are on tight enough that I don't end up with paint all over me or my, my office area here. That would not be good, right? All right. So it's a beautiful, rich plum color. And I did not use it in here. I thought about getting creative and uh, making my own custom purple color to go with it. And keep in mind, if Right now, we don't have, you know, every single color, but if you want to create a different uh, shade of that color, there is um, the white linen that you can just add to it and then change it as well. So that is something to definitely consider. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you the most important thing of the whole entire release. <laughs> they are going to be available in eight ounces. Debbie uh, is now offering them in eight ounce containers. So if you're a little worried about getting a full 16 ounce, you can now get it in the eight ounce. So, which is so cool. Um, I made a little boo-boo. I, when I placed my order, I don't know what I actually was thinking. I ordered all the, first of all, I put in all these, then I went back and I started adding the eight ounces um, and I thought I added eight ounces for all the old colors and I apparently did not. So I will be doing that today, um, adding that and ordering those. So, um, once I get them, they will all be available. So just so you do know. Now this one is called Provincial. So for all you lovers of neutrals, that one is absolutely gorgeous too. Um, let's see here. Love the barn quilt making quilt tutorial. Thank you. Thank you. Is this an original sonnet design? This, um, this is like, uh, one of the designs that I make. Yes. If that's what you're asking. <laughs> uh, provincial is my favorite. I think it is. Oh, it is definitely good. You guys, it is so good. Um, okay. So I will give you guys a little, uh, teaser for Monday's video, as long as it's warm enough and it's, it looks sunny outside, but again, I don't know if it's warm enough. Um, it should be fine. I am going to finish that buffet and I am using this color. So wait, I, I honestly, you guys, I really, I'm kind of obsessed with these, this blue it's called Pacific. It's one of my favorites. So that is the color that I am painting um, the buffet that I actually picked out of the garbage. So uh, if you saw my reel recently, uh, I showcased um, the buffet that my mother actually found it for me. And she stood there and guarded it and waited until I was able to get there. And we loaded it in the back of my truck. Thank goodness for curbside finds, right, guys? So... Um, I know there are other designs like the red cardinal. Do you have a book of all the different designs? 
Uh, actually, what I have done is I, so when I first started creating these, I went and I actually went thrifting and <laughs> go figure, right? Uh, and I went into the book section and I was looking for different um, quilting books and I found a ton of different quilting books and I rummaged through and there are several different designs within the quilting book. Uh, then I went on Pinterest and I found like the cardinal pattern out there too. Um, the cardinal pattern is probably a really easy one to draw and paint. Uh, some of the other patterns can be a little tricky, uh, but especially um, the pinwheel design where if you, it looks like it's uh, it, it's one of the most difficult designs to draw out and to paint um, because you have to keep like counting backwards because it actually like pinwheels around. And that one has gotten me a couple times. All right. So Emily says, beautiful blue. Thank you. I agree. Gorgeous. Oh, hey, Cindy, how you doing? All right. Then the next color, and this one I'm super excited for too. Um, I loved all the other colors, but we definitely needed a darker color too. And here, black. it's called Anvil and I love it. Um, the one thing too that Jamie Ray, uh, when she showcased all of these to us um, during uh, like a live, was that um, these are great for distressing too. They have a really nice um, smooth, uh, so when you distress them, you're not going to get lots of clumps or any, it, like some of uh, the paints get real clumpy and chunky when you distress. The Like a lot of times when you use like store-bought paint, these work perfect. Even though there's a top coat built in, when I went out and I distressed this, it was amazing. Like my vision for um, when I distress these is I want to bring back a lot of the detail of the actual grain of the boards. I like to showcase like knots and all the imperfections of each of the boards. And the, the paint just really let me do that. And I was very happy about it. Um, let's see here. Love the combo. Thank you. Hey, Shelly. Thanks for joining. All right. Um, so you guys, I, nobody commented about the eight ounces. Are you guys excited that they're available in eight ounce containers? So you can uh, try them now in smaller containers because that is, that was like my number one, like, whoa, my gosh, that's awesome. Uh, Re well, Connie says replay in Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, I'm, I'm still here. She must think I was going to be live at maybe 10. All right. The last color is called Juniper. All right. Let's take a peek at Juniper. And it's a beautiful green, you guys. Look at that. I love it. Um, we are actually going to use Juniper today. So... Let, do you remember last week when we painted this, or painted, <laughs> when we put all of these uh, molds on this pot, we are going to paint it, um, and we're painting it juniper. Uh, so I was really torn. I really loved Pacific, and I really loved juniper, and I didn't know which one I liked more. Um, I was kind of leaning towards uh, Pacific, you guys. So... Um, but juniper is absolutely beautiful too. So uh, the one thing too to take note about the um, Jamie Ray vintage or the cottage colors is that they are self-leveling. So um, it really um, cuts down on the amount of brush strokes. Uh, the other thing too is, if you notice, I'm not using any of, I'm not using Debbie's brush with this. Uh, Debbie's brushes really are intended for the clay-based paint brushes. They're um, so just something to think about. If you do use them with this paint or any other paint, my tip is you definitely want to wash them right away. Don't. Um, abuse them like like sometimes I put them in baggies and stuff 
And uh, with the uh, paint that has the top coat built in, um, you definitely want to make sure that you have, um, you don't leave it sitting around because it will harden and then your paintbrush will be completely lost. So just something to think about. All right. So we, West Coast Contessa said she's very excited about the eight ounce containers. Good, good. I love Juniper. It's definitely my favorite of these. Um, how much are the smaller ones? So the smaller ones are uh, $16.99. And that's because the top coat is built in. So they're, or that's what I saw. So I'm, that's what I'm pricing them at right now until if I find out I'm wrong, I'll have to reprice it. But that's what I thought I saw. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, that's what somebody told me because I was looking and I couldn't find anything. So another stock has told me that. I'm like, I know that there was something out there. I just couldn't find it. So I'm rolling with it. Um, yep. 16 or 1650. Did I say 1650 or 16? Yep. 1650. I was right. All right, I like eight ounce jars so you can buy more colors, especially so you can test them to make sure you like the color before you spend the money on the big size. Exactly. Oh, hello, long time no see. Thanks for joining. All right, let's go ahead, finish this up. So this is going to, because of the pot, it is definitely gonna need two coats. Um, one thing too, that if, um, you have a surface like this, you can always add like, uh, the clay based paint first, cause it will just, um, adhere to this pot too. Uh, but what I'm going to do is after I paint it, I'm going to let it dry or we're going to let it dry here and then, um, add the second coat and then I'm going to add some wax. So you guys think we should do dark wax with this or do you think white wax? I'm letting you guys make the decision. Just gonna go make sure I got all the areas here because there's a lot of detail on this mold. And this is the new mold from IOD that we're using that I showcased on my live for IOD, the IOD release. And so I thought, well, I haven't finished it yet. What a great time to finish it guys, right? All right, let me, this is where I layered some paint or layer, layered paint, layered some of the molds. All right. Hey Paige, that's okay. So let's see. Oh, we have, um, okay, let's see here. Uh, dark wax. Okay, so I am right. Um, Shelly said 1650 and 2850. Yes. I hope I put that right on my website. Otherwise, I'll go check. Sometimes some of, I think I did it. Maybe, I hope I didn't put 95. I'll fix it otherwise, guys, if I have it wrong. I promise. Um, I did it right before I went live. If you can just imagine. So we got a lot, a lot of white waxes. White wax. That's awesome. Are those new cookies on that barn quilt? Yes, these are some of the four of the new colors are on the barn quilt. Yes. So, all right, let me grab a, you can do it, put it in a baggie for a little bit, but not a long time, guys. So don't leave it sit overnight. Okay. Um, yep, I knew what you meant. Any wax, good, white. Okay. So, um, Let's see here. Uh, in the comments, you guys, as I'm drawing it, let me know what your favorite color is out of the six new colors. Um, dying to hear. Oh. Let me first put the lid on here. Put a cap on spills. And I want to do one more thing. Oh, Shelly says I should use dark wax 
and then use my finger to add a little bit of gold. That would look really pretty. Uh, okay, so we love the blue, juniper, and then plum. Okay. All right, so we have, is there a sample kit of all the new colors? There is not, but that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. That would be really good. Juniper, Juniper, I don't know, but the color that you're using, that'll be my first buy. This is called Juniper, and this is, yes, a really good one. Let me just finish this up, and then, oh, and I tipped it. Well, that's good, I'm putting a second coat on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cindy goes, it's, I mean, it's not like I won't get them all anyway, right? So they all are available in the eight ounce containers. Unfortunately, I made a mistake when I placed my order and I didn't open my order till recently. Um, so I have to still go ahead and grab the old col colors in the eight ounces. So as soon as I have them available, I will have them out on my website. But yes, I'm so excited about the eight ounces, you guys. I know this morning I said, well, ball drop. I dropped a ball, guys. So that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Oh, Cindy. Um, here's a question for you, Cindy. <laughs> Um, Spark of Vintage, don't you have a channel? Cindy is working on her channel and she is like, she is good, you guys. All right. Oh, I hit something. I hit something. Oh boy. Hey, Carol, that's okay. We are just painting um, a pot and we're painting it juniper. And I'm just gonna... She goes, I do, LOL. She does have a channel and she is going to start creating some long form content because she is a pretty darn amazing page, Cindy is, of Spark of Vintage. All right. Okay, I'm going to just set this down and oh, Juniper is so lovely. Yes, it is. It's definitely, like I said, it's one of my favorites. All right. So now I'm going to add the second coat. It's a little warm. I tipped it over and then when it was wet, so some of the paint came off on the front here, but no worries. I can cover it up on the second coat here. All right. So as you can see, like two coats will cover really, really well. Um, there is a lot of pigment in here. I think that I like on if I would have just had the mold and probably something else other than the terracotta pot, I might have gotten away with like one coat or like I always like to say one and a half coats you guys so the coverage is really good with uh this paint didn't Jamie do an amazing job picking out the colors uh so tell me in the comments so she is going to be doing future colors what colors would you like to see in this paint line in Jamie and uh, Debbie's paint line Tell me in the comments. All right. Hey, Sheila, thanks for joining. All right. Um, let me. I was going to see if anybody made a comment because I, I, I'm dying to know because I talk about a color that I want Jamie to create. A soft yellow. Okay, so you said a soft yellow. I said some yellows. I would love like a mustard. I just think like a mustard would have looked so amazing on that barn quilt. And obviously, I mean, I can't be totally like thinking that's all I'm going to paint with it. But I think 
mustard like for fall too would be perfect. All right, that's looking good. Perfect, perfect. Yes, that's all looking really good. All right, I'm just gonna go around on the top, finish touching this up. And pop this back in here. Love the good, love a good mustard color. Me too, yellows, aquas, teals colors. Yes, oh gosh. Hello, uh, yes, a teal, that would be awesome. Did you use plum pudding on the barn quilts? I did not because I did not have a color contrast. So uh, at the very beginning of the live, I talked about how I like to like grab a dark blue and then like a light blue. So I used four colors that were from the original colors. And then I used four colors of the new cottage colors. So, and you can see they all like go so well together. I love the whole palette that Jamie is creating. Um, plum pudding is like a purplish color. So yes, it is. Oh, thank you. So Emily said, uh, by the way, Sonnet, loving your podcast. I appreciate that. Thank you. I know. Um, I'm thinking like, do, does anybody really care about my, the beginnings of, you know, the, you know, my, how my business started, but I'm like, it just makes you guys understand, you know, where I came from, like how the business started, how it like transpired. Um, and so then next week, it's kind of going to be like a, a, almost like a wrap up of how I am or how I got here today. And then you guys, guess what? I get to do my very first interview with my really good friend, Kristen. And, uh, we, um, so last night I sat down and, uh, cause I've never done an interview before. And so I was like, I have to figure out what interview questions, like, what do I want to know about her? Like, what do I want to ask her? Uh, so I sat down and I wrote an outline of the interview. And then I was trying to think of like, what would you guys want to know about Kristen? And what, what do I still want to know about Kristen? And I came up with all kinds of really awesome. Well, I think they're awesome questions, but. Uh, just like the whole format, and I'm really excited. April 2nd, I get to interview her. Um, so I'm super, super excited, and I can't wait. I have a whole bunch of people lined up that I'm going to be doing interviews with, so it will be really good. Um, oh, that's a good one. I missed it. Burnt orange. Yes, yeah, it's like a terracotta color would be really, really good. Um, could you paint a side table with a sample eight ounce? I bet you could. I, I have yet to do anything with the eight ounces because I just got them in, but I would think so because if you guys remember when I did the eight ounce challenge, and again, that is the clay based paint. I was able to paint four chairs with an eight ounce jar of paint. So I bet, I mean... I would think you could, is what I'm trying to say. All right, I need this to dry the rest of the way so we can add some wax. Um, let's see here. Yes, the podcast today was great. I was so It was so informative, too. Thank you. I'm so excited to watch your podcast every time you upload it. Oh, you guys, thanks. I know um, it's funny because my husband, that's his voice on my podcast. He introduces me and uh, he has yet to listen to any of my podcasts, which I'm kind of surprised, but um, he is also my moderator on my page. So like if anything were to happen where I need his assistance, he could moderate comments and things. And uh, I'm like, so he'll say, oh, so-and-so um, commented. Um, and then he said something like, oh, so your first podcast, was it about like your, when uh, you had your like scare? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, I could tell by some of the comments. I'm like, you haven't even watched it? But that's okay. 
I'm on my third sonnet program today. <laughs> Podcast bar quilt painting, and now you're live. Awesome, Carol. I love it. You got a lot of me today. You got a lot of me. Oh, I know. So in the comments, let me know, um, because I did go live yesterday. Well, you guys, um, there was some technical difficulties over on um, Facebook yesterday when I went live at 10 o'clock. Uh, it would not allow me to stream onto Facebook. So I just went live at 10 on YouTube. And then at two o'clock, I went live on Facebook without, you know, very little notification. Um, so not many people, um, you know, there were some people that showed up, but it was like kind of a last minute thing. Uh, so I am wondering, do you guys, and because I'm going live spontaneously today, do you think I should go live tomorrow? Because I will um, at my normal schedule time at 10. Or if you guys have had too much of me this week, you let me know because I have more projects that I need to finish here. Oh. <laughs> He does, and he probably knows more details than you guys want to even know. So yes, um, my husband does know all the nitty gritty details. Oh, uh, that's funny. Um, let's see here. Just finished watching your latest podcast. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Nope. Let's go ahead. All right. Never too much. Okay. So Carol says it's never too much. And let's see here. Anytime is great sign We can't get enough. Okay. Never too much. <laughs> well, thanks guys. Okay. Uh, there's never enough sonnet. Craft on sonnet. All right. Um, yes, I will do a Friday live then. So we're going to be working on something. Uh, don't know yet what. I'm hoping this looks dry enough. Let me just feel it. Oh, yes. Okay, so Cindy says, I'm also super excited about your subscription box. So I will make a plug for my subscription box. <laughs> if you guys missed my live yesterday, it was all about my subscription box. So, um, yes, I am super excited by the um, the amount of people that are on my wait list, first of all, thank you very much. That's awesome. Um, and I am super excited to kick it off. So do you guys have any questions about the subscription box? Let me know and I can answer them. I am going to grab the white wax. So uh, let's see here. Uh, dark, clear, white. Okay, got white, guys. Probably. I didn't know if I was going to use dark or white. Oh, Misty says, oh my goodness. I can't wait for the box. I know. Um, I am super excited for it too. I think it's going to be great. So let's see. Let me hold on guys. I just am making sure I'm going to grab. Well, I think I'm going to grab this one. Connie was talking about the box last night. She's very excited. She didn't give out any details, did she? What she drew, did she? <laughs> I told her it was under lock and key. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. She is so talented, you guys. Honestly, um, she said that she was very nervous to be designing something for somebody else because, you know, then... What if I didn't like it? But she sent over uh, the images. And you guys, they were so awesome. She's so good. So let's see here. Um, oh, hey, Nancy. Thanks for joining. I think they need to add some fall colors to the paint line. I would have to agree. Okay, so what we're going to do. So we have Juniper all over the pot. And we are going to add a bit of uh, the white wax to it. Uh, let's see here. Connie's new spring papers are so cute. Oh, my gosh. They are so cute, you guys. All right. So we're just going to take it, and I'm going to first start and get it into all the details of the, hopefully, I'm just hoping that I have it all dry. I'm, I'm not rushing this. 
You know how sometimes my projects go, you guys. Quicker, faster, sooner. Okay. All right, now I'm going to work in sections. Bye, Paige. Thanks for joining. And I'm going to just wipe off some of this, the white wax. And get into, and then just smooth it out amongst all the, the rest. Oh, it looks so good. Look at all that detail it brings out, you guys. Oh, gosh, I love it. Oh, right away. I am loving, loving, loving all that detail. I love the white wax. So, all right. Let's just keep on going. Around the whole entire piece. Oh, I'm so excited that I decided to do this with the, the juniper and the white wax. Thanks, guys. I know... The, I think the dark wax would have looked great as well with um, with the gold, but I thought the white was kind of screaming spring a little bit, so that's why I went that route. All right. Let me just get, I have a lot of wax right there. So let me just wipe some of that out. Perfect. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving it, you guys. I love everything though. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Someone told me the other day that I said I'm loving it too much. So sometimes when I really love something though, you guys, I keep saying it because I really do love it that much. All right. Love the color with the white wax. That's see, Misty loves stuff too. <laughs> I love it. So, um, pairs beautifully with the white wax. I would agree a hundred percent. And I'm just gonna finish the front and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to touch up the rest of the, um, the pot and then I'm going to wipe away any excess that I feel like I need to wipe away and okay let's look see isn't it good that I have a PhD you guys projects half done that I can just so quick go what am I gonna what am I gonna paint and put white wax on today and I just go look in my projects half done and because I started this with you guys and then I'm like I need to finish it but haven't had time so I've been trying to finish everything on my live so I don't have that problem but it's it's kind of hard sometimes I also feel like you don't want to see me painting and stuff. So that's why, or like if it's a big project or like wet distressing these back here, the, um, my doors, which I need to get done because those are going into a booth. All right. I love it. Oh gosh, you guys. Look at that. It is so good. All right, let me put the top back on here and then let me just finish. Well, maybe I shouldn't put the top back on yet. I just need a little bit more white wax to finish off the very top. But I really love it. I think it's perfect for this, this container. All right. Yes. And there it is. This looks so good. All right. Okay. All right. So we got that done. I just need to rinse out my brush on that. Hey, Kareen. Thanks for joining. And 
So what we did today is we took a pot that was in my projects half done. We painted it juniper, and then we used the DIY wax to bring out all the detail. And this was the mold that I started using um, for the new IOD release. And I do have that mold in stock. It's beautiful. And I have seen so many amazing projects done with that. Um, let's see here. That looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so pretty. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, beautiful. I love the barn quilt. Thank you. All right. So I think that what I've heard, a lot of people are loving juniper. Um, I heard plum pudding, provincial, Pacific. You guys, you got to love barn quilt too, right? I know it's just your favorite. Um, that's awesome. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right. So I do have all the items listed on my website or all the paint colors, except I don't have the old ones in the eight ounce. I will be getting those. Um, I'm going to place the order right after I get off this live. And then as soon as I receive them, I will go ahead and list them. Debbie's pretty quick uh, about getting those out. Uh, so it should not be a problem. Tomorrow, I will be going live from 10 to uh, noon, so a two-hour live again. We'll be working on all kinds of projects. I might even bring out one of the new cottage colors so we can play around with that more. And then um, I'm trying to think what else I was going to tell you. Okay, so my podcast went live this morning, you guys. So if you haven't watched that yet, definitely head on over to either YouTube and watch the video podcast portion or if you guys like to watch or listen to podcasts on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you know, all this, the different podcast platforms, it is out there too. So that's available. There is a playlist for the Cottage Colors. So you guys, um, I made a post and the playlist is um, included in that post. It's also attached to my YouTube videos. Um, or my YouTube video, I should say. So click on the po or the playlist and watch all of the other creators because there's a lot of good content. Um, and then I was going to say, oh, Monday. Monday's video for YouTube. I'm going to, like I said, try to use the Pacific on, or I have used the Pacific on a project. Um, so I'm just going to try to wrap that up and get that in the video. And then I'm going to just feature some of the other colors as well. So that will be Monday's video. Uh, let's see here. I love the barn red and the dark blue. These will be perfect for patriotic painting. Yes, that's a great idea. Yes, yes, yes. Great job. Great idea, Cindy. I never um, even thought about that, but absolutely. Um I know if there would have been more blues or like even the gold, like the, the yellows and stuff, I could have totally done like a whole patriotic uh, themed barn quilt. So um, then the last thing to wrap this up um, about my maker's box. Um, if you guys uh, didn't, you missed my live yesterday and you haven't yet, um, definitely get on my wait list if you guys are interested. I've attached the wait list link in the comments. And um, how the wait list works is that you'll be the first to know when uh, the box goes live. So I'm launching it May 28th, but anybody on the wait list will have first dibs May 27th. So you'll all receive an email May 27th, and then you'll be getting first dibs on the maker's box. So there is a limited quantity. And the reason that is, is that I had to pre-order the papers and like Royce's papers to have them printed. It takes four to six weeks. So depending on the schedule of the printer and that, you know, I can't just all of a sudden like sell X amount and then more people want it. So I had to guess how many of you would be interested. And I hope I made a really good guess. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, I actually had two quantities. I had my quantity and then I had my husband's quantity. Um, when we were chatting about how many I should launch, uh, I was like, should I go big? Or he goes, yeah, go big. And then he's like, well, maybe start small. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, honey, oh, honey. So we'll see. Um, but yes, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments about that too. I'd be more than happy to answer any of those. All right. Um, so I'm excited that you guys all joined me today. And I don't see any other comments. Um, but everything is out on the website. Um, oh, go big. <laughs> Uh, I went partially big. Okay. I went partially big. I, I was going to go really big. Cause I'm like, I think a lot of people are going to want a liver every single month. Um, and just so you guys know, it's two different papers that are, it's going to be like a mini release every month in a box, uh, between Royce's papers and Connie's. Um, that's it, it's so it's going to be so good. And then all the other items that I include, um, whether the, like the first couple months, I am going to just have it coordinating paints. So some fusion, some DIY, some sweet pickins will all be in there and, uh, it's going to be good. You guys are going to love it. So, um, I definitely want the limited edition papers. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Sonnet. Always super fun. Appreciate the live today. Metal yellow, metal yellow, first red. Metal yellow first red. All right. And thank you so much, all of you guys, for joining me. I will see you guys then tomorrow. All right. Bye.